Hello everyone, my name is Ripley and today we are trying out the Sims Sims Small Sims shell. I'm always excited for a new shell challenge and I thought this one looked really fun. I know she built it to it for it to be more difficult, like and this uh, layout is definitely difficult, like the way that the walls are done, like doing the interior layout was quite tricky. I was gonna include it in the video but I completely um forgot to record this part or like i got a little bit ahead of myself so i did the layout uh, without recording um i'm pretty happy with the overall layout the bathrooms it did end up being like a two bedroom two bathroom a house which i'm happy with and uh, the bathrooms are quite small but they are there and we have two full bathrooms which are good and then we have a master bedroom and a secondary bedroom and then for the roofing um I think that the roofing ended up being easier than I thought. When I went into this, I was like, I'm gonna take so much time on the roofing, it's gonna be so difficult. But I just kind of went for it and I kind of got something that I was happy with almost immediately. I did end up adding those like, um, the pieces are like this, or like, I think they call like the angled roof. I think they're like that, just to make it look a little bit more in interesting. Otherwise we had just kind of like the same roof piece um, on repeat, it just looked a little bit questionable, but adding those like angled roofs, I think really added a little more dimension and made, it made the roof overall a little bit more interesting. And I'm also building in this Mediterranean style because I do really love building in more like a Medi Mediterranean style, but I never really get to do it. Um, Although, you know, I do decide what videos I make, so I should surely be able to tell myself to do Mediterranean more often. But, you know, it's always like, maybe it's like a request, or like I'm trying to recreate something, or we have a certain like holiday coming up, like we had Halloween, so I did like spooky stuff, or like more like spooky, like cult, uh, occult inspired stuff. And then we have, of course, like Christmas and like the winter season, so I built a lot of like yeah, winter and Christmas to builds, and now as well, you know, we have the new pair coming out like really soon. So it's gonna be a lot of like wedding builds, and so I never really get to just do what I like, whatever I wanna do. So with with this challenge and with doing this shell challenge, I did take the opportunity to make a Mediterranean home because I really wanted to do one, and I think that I only have like two other Mediterranean homes on my um or builds on my channel, which is, which is really little, and I'm really happy that I got to build a Mediterranean home today. I did also add in this like big like patio on the back of the build, and I'm really happy with how they turned out. We did that little like fencing on top and having like the columns, and these columns are from the Courtyard Oasis kit, which is such a beautiful kit and really fit in here. Um, for the outside, I mainly used uh, this this knows. I mainly used um, Young Adventure, as it's called. Mainly used Young Adventure, of course. Uh, Courtyard Oasis and a little bit of Island Living. I didn't want to use too much Island Living, but I really love like the plants and stuff um, to come with Island Living. They're so beautiful, so I thought that of course I kind of need to use them. On the inside, I wanted to use Island Living more sparingly because. I don't really think that that is really the vibe they was going for. Going more for this like kind of like quarter oasis, uh, young events the kind of style that we have. And I'm actually building instead of a Dorado right now. So this is technically a rental and I think it's very much, I did decorate it very much as a rental. But you can totally use this as like a everyday home as well of course. I think on the gallery they are automatically um, uploaded as residential homes so you can like Plot this in uh, Oasis Springs if you want to, and it would be totally fine. <laughs> um, I don't think you can have like a residential home in Salvadorado. I guess you would have to like cheat the system and always be on vacation <laughs> if you want to live here. Uh, but I thought that with doing this Mediterranean home, I really wanted to build in this world. This very much like I feel like it has, has that more like Mediterranean feel. And now with doing landscaping as well. I wasn't at all happy with the landscaping at first, like I put in all the bushes and the flowers and stuff and I was just not happy with it. And for a while I was like, maybe I should just redo everything, just remove everything and redo it because I am not happy at all with what I have done. Um, but then when I added the trees, I feel like everything just kind of started to come together. And I actually, looking back at it now, I actually really really like how it looks. 
and then we also have this like weird like front like garden here as you can see with the white fences I didn't really have a plan for that I never planned to add it but then I was just kind of like messing around with the fences and I just created something in the front and I feel like it would have made more sense to maybe make like a seating area out front instead of having this like gardens that are like fenced in but I don't know I just created something and I think they look kind of cute so I guess it's, it's okay uh, I'm actually really happy with how it looks um, and then also having some uh, grass growing on the roof I thought was a really nice detail kind of like an extension or like an extra to like the little like garden we have on top of the uh, patio at back because on top of that we have that like fencing and then we have all this kind of like flowers and everything that grows and comes out over the edges which also is kind of like a nice like a privacy screen almost to have these leaves and plants just kind of hanging over the edge and I thought it looks really really nice moving on to the interior uh, like I said earlier the interior was a little bit tricky to do I just kind of figured out the floor plan that made sense I did really want to have two bedrooms in, in here which also kind of made it a little bit more tricky um, but overall, I'm actually really happy with this floor plan. We have kind of like an open living kind of situation where the living room, the dining area and the kitchen is kind of in the same space. But I did get this little like nook for the kitchen. So it's kind of like, um, I wouldn't call it an alleyway kitchen, but it's a little bit more like a cramped kitchen. Uh, with a lot more space than I thought it would be, but I actually really like the size of the kitchen. And I really like that it has it, its own little area in here. Uh, for the kitchen, I didn't want to do too much clutter, mainly because uh, of course I wanted to make sure that the Sims could actually use the items and could use the counters in here and actually cook. But also with it being a rental, having that in mind, I didn't want to have too much clutter because I don't really think you would have too much clutter in a rental. Had it been a residential home, then that would have been totally different, but like I said, with it being a rental, you kind of want to keep the clutter to a minimum. And then for the dining area, we had this kind of little like weird, almost like a hallway kind of thing that I had in the middle that I didn't really know what to do with. But I thought, well, well, we can put a dining table in there and that would be fine. And I think it actually ended up looking really, really nice and kind of really looking like, like the dining table was supposed to be there. The dining table does see it four seams and we also have a dining table outside that also sees four seams. Um, but I guess, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this house sleeps uh, three sims. So we have the master bedroom with two sims, of course. And then we have um, one single bed in the second bedroom. I guess um, you could have fit another bed in the second bedroom, but you could potentially put in a bunk bed. I think the bunk bed would fit. Um, I don't know, we don't really have a bunk bed in the right style, but I guess you could put that in if you would need another bed. But overall, I'm actually really happy with how the bedrooms turned out as well, although the second bedroom is quite a tight squeeze. Working here now again on the dining area, I did use these little like um, lamps from Tunnel Living, which I really love, just like three lamps over the dining table. I really like putting um, low hanging lights above the dining table, I think it adds a little bit more detail and you see a little bit more color here as well than I normally would um, I usually go for a lot of like neutrals and blacks and whites but building with this Mediterranean style I did on the outside add in a lot of reds and blues like and also in the inside here the doors are blue to kind of uh, bring the outside in and then we have all these like tiled walls that are from Courtyard Oasis uh, from that kit and then of course we add in some details here and there that also have a lot of colors so I think it was fun too to get to build with more colors than I normally would and I think that for a build like this I it kind of forces me to build with more color which I like because normally I would just go for like the basics the neutrals you know so I really like building in this style and building with more colors and more life, I guess. Um, for the living room up here, um, I actually did something really uh, fun, I think, because I always want, because one thing that I really want in The Sims is bookshelves that fit underneath the windows, like a bookshelf that would be like a, like half a wall size, you know, that it 
it's like a half ball size. That would be perfect, but we don't have that. We do have one like base game uh, bookcase that are in that right um, height, but it's so ugly. I mean, it's horrible. I can't use it. So I would love to have more bookcases like that. But what I ended up doing is I sized down um, one of the base game bookcases and then I just added three of them and lined them on the wall. And I think that looks really nice. And you still can still use this because it's just kind of like a... Because when they pick up a book, it's just like this kind of like teleport animation, like the book teleports to the Sims hand. So it's not like they go into the bookcase to grab something. So it's fine and it doesn't like mess up the animations at all. And then up here in the living room as well, I added a TV because I thought that even though when, you, when you're on vacation, you're out a lot, if you're in Salvador Dorado, you're probably in the mountains or in the temples a lot. Uh, but still, when you come home during the night, it would be really nice to have a TV, so I really wanted to add that. I'm working on the master bedroom in here. I kind of wanted to keep it quite simple. We do mainly just have the essentials, like a bed, the night side tables, a dresser and a mirror. We do also have a little like chair in here, for you seems to like get rest and get ready. And then we have a lot of plans. I think that building in like a Mediterranean style and in this Mediterranean world, I really think that a lot of plants and a lot of flowers inside um, especially these like flowers that really fit the style, looks really really nice. Like normally of course I would just put in a lot of plants regardless, uh, so no different here really. I actually really used a lot of the Blooming Rooms kit uh, flowers in this build, I thought they really fit in. And I think I used almost every single flower from that pack and I think it was definitely worth it. Uh, working on the secondary bedroom now, I used kind of the same things as I used in the master bedroom when it comes to like the, f um, the dresser and the nightstand and that kind of stuff. Mainly because this is a rental. Like had this been like a home then I would probably have made this room a little bit more um, I guess stylized or a little bit more like personal to like a kid sim. But because it's a rental I don't really think it matters that this room looks very very similar to the master bedroom. But also, like I said, you can see that this room is quite a tight squeeze, so we could not really fit in a lot of stuff anyways. Uh, and then we move on to the hallway, which honestly, I totally forgot about the hallway. Like, I was, at this point, I was really ready to go and work on, like, the outside patio. But now, we still have the hallway to do. In the hallway, um, you did very simple, like, all my other hallways. We just have a place for you to take off your shoes, take off your coat. Um, I don't really know how it is in this culture if you do take off your shoes when you come in, but I'm like Swedish, I'm Scandinavian, so for me, I very much naturally build a hallway with like shoe racks and coat hangers and that kind of stuff, and that you do take off your shoes and your outerwear when you come in. I don't know if like this Mediterranean culture have that, so maybe there's not, I don't really know how that culture is, so hopefully it's not too way off. Working outside, we have a little pool area outside just to cool down. At first I thought, well, maybe put in like a hot spring because I think they look really nice. But then I thought, well, in this Mediterranean countries, they probably got quite, quite hot. It's quite hot. You wouldn't probably want a hot spring. You would probably rather want like a pool to chill and be like cool off. Uh, but with that said, we are about to jump into the tour. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all very very soon. Ripley out.